Hello dear students and welcome to my online lecture series of the English subject. Dear students, today in this video we are going to discuss one of the most important grammar topics of English that is types of sentences. Dear students, as you know that there are four different types of sentences in English. Using these variety of sentences in your writing will add interest and help you get your ideas across effectively. To communicate clearly, it's important to know the function of each type of sentence so you can make the right choice depending upon your purpose. So let us begin with the explanation of the sentences. So before starting the explanation, let us understand what is a sentence. A set of words that is complete in itself, typically containing a subject and a predicate conveying a statement, a question, an exclamation or command and consisting of main clause and sometimes one or more subordinate clause is called as a sentence. Priya Vidyarthi Mitrano, sentence manje kai याची व्याख्या आता आपण मराठीमध्ये सुद्धा समजून घेणार आहोत सेंटेन्स म्हणजे काय तर अर्थपूर्ण शब्दांच्या समूहास वाक्य असे म्हणतात आपण परत एकदा ती डेफिनेशन पाहूया अर्थपूर्ण शब्दांच्या समूहास वाक्य असे म्हणतात डिअर स्टुडंट्स अ सेंटेन्स हॅज टू पार्ट प्रिय विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो वाक्याचे दोन भाग पडतात The first one is a subject and the second one is a predicate. So let us understand what is a subject. A subject is a person or a thing that is doing an action. I repeat, a subject is a person or a thing that is doing an action. Ekhadya vakya madhe kriya karnarya ekhadya vyakti athwa vastula सब्जेक्ट असं म्हटलं जात नाव लेट इस अंडरस्टँड वॉट इज अ प्रेडिकेट द पार्ट ऑफ अ सेंटेन्स दॅट कंटेन्स अन ॲक्शन इज कॉल्ड ॲज अ प्रेडिकेट लेट इस रिपीट द आन्सर द पार्ट ऑफ अ सेंटेन्स दॅट कंटेन्स अन ॲक्शन इज कॉल्ड ॲज अ प्रेडिकेट वाक्यातील एक विशिष्ट भाग ज्यामध्ये क्रिया दर्शवली जाते त्याला प्रेडिकेट असं म्हणतात वाक्यातील एक विशिष्ट भाग ज्यामध्ये क्रिया दर्शवली जाते त्याला प्रेडिकेट असं म्हणतात तर विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो समजलंच असेल तुम्हाला की एक सेंटेन्स मध्ये दोन पार्ट असतात एक असतो सब्जेक्ट आणि दुसरा असतो प्रेडिकेट नाव लेट एस सी अन एक्सरसाइज फॉर यू पीपल सो द क्वेश्चन इज पिक आउट द सब्जेक्ट अँड प्रेडिकेट फ्रॉम द सेंटेन्स इज गिवन बिलो सो आर यू पीपल रेडी So let us solve it. The first sentence is the man saw the snake. So in this sentence which will be the subject and which will be the predicate? Let us try. So the man will be the subject and saw the snake will be the predicate. He whispered in a low voice. So again I repeat in this sentence he will be the subject and whispered in a low voice will be the predicate correct very good now can you tell me the answer of the third question the rose smelled sweet come on yes correct the rose is a subject and smelled sweet is a predicate now here we have the next six examples for you people come on try and tell the answers so in the fourth sentence the farmer is a subject in the fifth sentence soham is a subject in the sixth sentence rahul and sunil are the subject then in the seventh sentence the mango is a subject in the eighth sentence mr verma is the subject in the ninth sentence he is a subject and last but not the least in the 10th sentence the king is a subject 
and the remaining part of all these sentences will be called as a predicate. So, I hope you have understood the difference between a subject and a predicate. Let us move on to the next slide now. So, here we have the types of sentences. So, the first type of sentence is assertive or declarative sentence. It is also called as a statement. Assertive or a declarative sentence. Manjej Vidhan Arthi Vakya. Then the second one is interrogative sentence. In an interrogative sentence, we ask a question. Yala Marathi Madhe Prashnarthak Vakya Asamhantat. The third one is imperative sentence. In imperative sentence, a command, an advice, a suggestion, etc. and etc. is given. So that is called as an imperative sentence. Yala Marathi Madhe Apan Adnyarthi Vakya Asamhantat. The fourth one is an exclamatory sentence. So in such types of sentences, an exclamation is made. Yala Marathi Madhe Udgar Vachak Vakya Samantat. Aplya Notebook Madhe He Note Down Karayla Harkat Nai. Now let us see the first type of sentence that is an assertive or declarative sentence. Means a statement. Talas Apar Marathi Madhe विधान आर्थी वाक्या से मन्तो या वाक्यात आपलेला काही माहिती दिलीली अस्ते क्युमा एखादे विधान केलेली अस्ते The sentence which declares or asserts a statement feeling, opinion, incident, event, history or anything is called as an assertive sentence An assertive sentence ends with a period that is full stop assertive sentence can be either affirmative or negative also so let us see the example of assertive sentence the first example is Sachin is a good cricket player so in this sentence there is no exclamation there is no question mark and at the very beginning we have Sachin as a subject so, Sachin is a good cricket player. The second sentence is Rama was a polite man. So, in this sentence also, there is a declaration, and so it is an assertive sentence. In the third sentence, let us see the third one. He wanted to become a doctor. The fourth sentence Sneha was a hard working girl. Now let us see the fifth one. Shivaji was the greatest Maratha ruler. So all these five sentences, dear students, are called as assertive or declarative sentences. Now let us see the second type of sentence that is an interrogative sentence. Interrogative sentence la Marathi madhe prashnarthak vakya asi matle jate. एची व्याक्या साध्या सोप्या मराटी भाशे मदे आधी समझून घेविया। जा वाक्यात प्रश्ण विचार ले जातात। आइकता ना जा वाक्यात प्रश्ण विचार ले जातात त्यास प्रश्णार्थक वाक्या से मनतात। अगदी सोप आहे ना � the sentence which asks a question is an interrogative sentence. I repeat, the sentence which asks a question is an interrogative sentence. This kind of sentence usually ends with a note of interrogation. So at the end of these uh, interrogative sentences, dear students, you can see a symbol that is a question mark. So that will help you to recognize that the sentence is a is an interrogative sentence instead of a period that is a full stop. An interrogative sentence can be either affirmative or negative. So there are two types of interrogative sentence. Priya Vidharti Mitrano interrogative sentence manjas prashnartak vakya ani ha prashnartak vakya chisuda don prakar partat. ये दोन प्रकार कुठलेत बघा 
पहला प्रकार है डब्ल्यू एच टाइप इंटरोगेटिव सेंटेन्स जे प्रश्न डब्ल्यू एच या अक्षरा ने सुरुआत होता डब्ल्यू एच टाइप इंटरगेटिव सेंटेन्स द से उत्तर अपने यस कि नो स्वरूप मिलते इंटरगेटिव सेंटेन्सेस फॉर एक्जाम्पल मे आई खम इन यस नो द सेकेंड एक्जाम्पल इज इज ही युअर ब्रदर तो तुझा भाऊ है का यस कि नो साधा सोप प्रश्न कि ज्यादा उत्तर यस कि नो मधे तो पहला टाइप है तो प्रश्न की सुरुआत डब्ल्यू एच ने होते यस नो टाइप की सुरुआत ही हेल्पिंग वर्ब्स ने होते स्पष्टीकरण अपन स्लाइड बाय स्लाइड पहा आहोत नाउ लेट एस सी द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ इंटरगेटिव क्वेश्चन दैट इज डब्ल्यू एच टाइप इंटरगेटिव सेंटेन्स ये डेफिनेशन का है? या प्रश्ना की सुरुआत ही डब्ल्यू एच ने होते व्यानतर क्रियापद आता जोड़ला जो डेफिनेशन बी हा प्रश्ना की सुरुआत ही डब्ल्यू एच ने होते व्यानतर लगे लगे क्रियापद आता जोड़ला जो फॉर्म्यूला बढ़ा डब्ल्यू एच प्लस व प्लस सब्जेक्ट प्लस क्वेश्चन मार्क फॉर एक्जाम्पल डि स्टूडेंट्स मैं तुम्हारा एक प्रश्न विचार है मी एखाद वाक्य बोलो मात्र ते वाक्य बोलत मैं ती कु टोनी मध्य बोलते कुछ फॉर्म्यूलापरु बोलतो ये महत्व है फॉर एक्जाम्पल एखाद मटला यू आर हैपी वाक्य बरबर है पर एक संगत यू आर हैपी हे वाक्य चूक है खरा प्रश्न पाजे होता आर यू हैपी ठीक है मी आता वाल प्रश्न कि उदाहरण ये तर यस नो टाइप क्वेश्चन च होते मात्र हाथ डब्ल्यू एच टाइप इंटरगेटिव सेंटेन्स मध्य फॉर्म्यूला बढ़ा कसा है डब्ल्यू एच प्लस वर्ब प्लस सब्जेक्ट प्लस क्वेश्चन मार्क हा प्रकार प्रश्न उत्तर हे संक्षिप्त स्वरूप एक्सप्लेनेटरी स्वरूप या प्रश्ना की सुरुआत ही वाय वॉट हूम वेर हूज एंड हाउ ने होते हाउ या प्रश्नार्थक शब्दा की सुरुआत जरी डब्ल्यू एच ने हो नसली तरी तो डब्ल्यू एच प्रश्न मानला जो हाउ सुधा डब्ल्यू एच ऐसी कैटेगरी मधे तो। नाउ लेट एस सी सम एक्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दिस डब्ल्यू एच टाइप इंटरगेटिव सेंटेन्सेस Let us read aloud together. The first example is, "What can I do for you?" See the sentence construction. "What is wh?" "Can" is a verb. "I" is a subject, and the remaining part plus question mark. The second example, "Who was he?" The same formula, "wh" plus verb or helping verb plus subject plus the question mark. Similarly, the third one. Why did he look angry? The fourth one, why can't you help me in my work? The fifth one, whom did you give the money? So in this sentence, whom did you give the money? Did is the helping verb which tells us the tense of the sentence. Did suggests that the steps The sentence is in simple past tense. So after adding did, there is no need of adding the v2 form of the main verb. Give ya shabda sa ya main verb sa gave karna chhi ajubatas garad nasti. Lakshya theva. Ani manun whom did you gave the money nahi? Whom did you give the money? The sixth example. Where was the man standing? The seventh example, whose son are you? The eighth one, how can we forget the sacrifice of your great freedom fighters? So, dear students, these are the eight examples of the first type of interrogative sentences, that is, 
the wh type interrogative sentence now let us see the second type of the interrogative sentence the second type is yes no type questions let us see its definition yes or no questions are questions whose expected answer is either yes or no ya prashnache uttar he yes kiwa no ase aste ya prashnache shuruvat hi sahyakari kriya padane mhanje auxiliary verbs ne hote yes a formula baka helping verb plus noun kiwa pronoun plus question mark let us see its example the examples are the first one are we going tomorrow apan uja janar ahot ka to uttar yu shakel how kiwa nahi the second one does he love to write a poem the answer will be yes or no the third one is can you help me the answer will be yes i will help you or i can help you the fourth one is is he your brother the answer will be yes he is my brother no he is not the fifth example is am i disturbing you the sixth example is was he present yesterday the seventh example is were you standing in the balcony so a simple topic dear students these are the seven example of the second type of the interrogative sentence that is yes no type questions i hope you have understood the second type of sentence that is the interrogative sentence now let us see the third one the third one is an imperative sentence imperative sentence la marathi madhe adnyarthi vakya asa mhanta tachi definition pahuya the sentence which is used to convey a command a request an advice etc is called an imperative sentence this type of sentence the subject always takes the second person you for the subject but most of the time the subject remains hidden ya vakya madhe bahutansh ves karta ha spashta pane aplyala disat nahi आज्ञार्थी वाक्य मध्ये समोरच्या व्यक्तीला एखादी सूचना एखादी विनंती आदेश किंवा सल्ला दिला जातो ह्याच वाक्यांच्या सुरुवात ही क्रियापदाने होते हे सर्वात महत्वाचं वाक्य लक्षात घ्या की आपण पहिला जो प्रकार बघितला होता तो होता असर्टिव्ह असर्टिव्ह वाक्याची सुरुवात ही सब्जेक्टने होते इंटरगेटिव्ह सेंटेन्सच्या शेवटी प्रश्नार्थक चिन्ह असत आणि म्हणून ते लगेच ओळखता येत इम्पेरेटिव्ह सेंटेन्स कसं ओळखायचं की ह्या वाक्याची सुरुवात ही सुरुवातीलाच क्रियापदाने होते बघा एक्झाम्पल मध्ये काय ब्रिंग आहे डोंट आहे गिव आहे एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा सो लेट एस सी द एक्झाम्पल्स नाव द फर्स्ट एक्झाम्पल इज ब्रिंग मी अ ग्लास ऑफ वॉटर द सेकंड वन इज डोंट एव टच माय बॅग The third one is give me a pen and a pencil. So this is a demand I feel. या वाक्याचा भाव कसा आहे बघा की या वाक्यामध्ये एखादी डिमांड केली गेली आहे फोर्थ प्ले विथ इंटेन्सिटी अँड करेज सो इन दिस सेंटेन्स अ सजेशन इज गिवन फिफ्थ वन रिमेंबर मी इन माय प्रॉब्लेम्स द सिक्स वन इज नेवर फॉर गेट द पर्सन हु लव्स यू So this is a suggestion. Seventh one, take a step and don't move. So this is an this is an order. Eighth is don't be excited about everything without reason. The ninth one is don't rush or you will fall. This is again a suggestion I feel. The tenth one is read a lot to improve your writing skill. So this will be an advice so all in all dear students an imperative sentence is very easy to understand because you can easily know that when a sentence begins with a a verb that type of sentence is called as an imperative sentence imperative sentence olakhnachi sarva sopi paddhat kay ki ja vakyachi shuruvat hi kriya padane hote tyala apan इम्पेरेटिव्ह सेंटेन्स असं बघतो म्हणतो आहे 
आता आपण यामधला चौथा प्रकार चौथा टाइपचा सा सेंटेन्स पाहूया बिफोर दॅट लेट एस सी अ चार्ट ऑफ द इम्पॅरेटिव्ह सेंटेन्स सो ऍडवाइस चे काही एक्झाम्पल आपल्याला स्क्रीन वरती दिसतात ऍडवाइस दर्शवणारी काही वाक्य बघा टेक टॅबलेट्स ऑन टाइम डोंट ईट द स्ट्रीट फूड the sentence showing command are put the gun down the sentence showing order is punish him an imperative sentence showing request will be please help me the sentence showing instructions will be turn off the television the sentence showing demands will be make me happiest man in the world सेंटेन्स करेक्ट असं पाहिजे होतं मेक मी द हॅपीएस्ट कारण की हॅपीएस्ट हा सुपरलेटिव्ह आहे त्याच्या अगोदर द प्रत्येक लागलाच पाहिजे मेक मी द हॅपीएस्ट मॅन इन द वर्ल्ड नाव द लास्ट वन द सेंटेन्स शोईंग वॉर्निंग दॅट इज डोंट टच द फ्लावर्स सो दिस इज अ चार्ट शोईंग डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ इम्पेरेटिव्ह सेंटेन्सेस नाव द लास्ट टाइप ऑफ सेंटेन्स इज एक्सक्लेमेटरी सेंटेन्स एक्सक्लेमेटरी सेंटेन्सला मराठीमध्ये उद्गार वाचक वाक्य असं म्हणतात याची व्याख्या बघूया अँड एक्सक्लेमेटरी सेंटेन्स एक्सप्रेसेस म्हणजेच कन्वेस अ स्ट्रॉंग अ सडन इमोशन अँड एन्स विथ अन एक्सक्लेमेशन मार्क याची व्याख्या मराठीमध्ये पहा उद्गार वाचक वाक्य आनंद दुःख राग आश्चर्य इत्यादी भावना व्यक्त करतात ही वाक्य बहुधा हाव किंवा वॉट ने सुरू होतात या वाक्यांच्या शेवटी उद्गार वाचक चिन्ह असते हे सर्वात बेस्ट सिंबल आहे आपल्याला हे वाक्य कुठल्या टाईपच आहे हे समजण्यासाठी काही मुलं म्हणतील सर हाव आणि वॉट ने तर प्रश्नार्थक वाक्य सुरू होतात ना हो बरोबर आहे मात्र त्याची सेंटेन्स कन्स्ट्रक्शन त्याचबरोबर शेवटी लागणार चिन्ह सुद्धा वेगळं असत आहे आणि ह्या वाक्यामधलं चिन्ह सुद्धा वेगळं असत आहे वी यूज हाव विथ अन ऍडजेक्टिव्ह सी द एक्झाम्पल हाव ब्युटिफुल हाव इंटरेस्टिंग सो रिमेंबर वी यूज हाव विथ अन ऍडजेक्टिव्ह द सेकंड इज वी यूज वॉट विथ अ नाउन ऑर अन ऍडजेक्टिव्ह बट फॉलोड बाय अ नाउन What is the example of that? What a day or what a delicious cake. Understood? Now let us see the examples of an exclamatory sentence in general. The first example is what a beautiful flower it is. The second one is what a wonderful man he is. The third is how cold it is today. The fourth one is what an exciting match it was. Fifth one is how brave he is. So these are the five examples of exclamatory sentence. Now homework for you people identify the type of sentence. Khalil dilela vakya madhe vakya cha prakar ulkha. There are four types of sentences in English. The first one is declarative, the second is imperative, the third one is interrogative and the fourth is exclamatory. You have to find out the type of sentences in the nine examples and I am not going to tell you the answer of it, okay? Take your time. Are you getting the answer? The first one is how well she is sorry how well she sings what type of sentence is it? Correct it is an exclamatory sentence. The second one what is your name? Come on what type of sentence is it? Correct it is an interrogative sentence. The third one did I say anything to make you angry? So at the last we have a question mark so it is surely an interrogative sentence 
the fourth one what is your name it is repeated i feel second and fourth one is the same the fifth one is who told you this so these are all the examples of interrogative sentence now the sixth one she is a successful writer so this is the example of a declarative sentence it is raining cats and dogs again what type of sentence is it it is it it is a subject so it is an inter sorry declarative sentence the eighth one i want to become a doctor a writer so it's a declarative sentence ninth one she does not eat meat or fish again the same it's an example of a declarative sentence now let us see the next one go at once what type of sentence it is sorry is it so it's an imperative sentence go is a verb remember ja vakya chi shuruvat ki kriya padani hote te vakya imperative aste ahe bring me that file parat ekda bring verb ahe ani manun te vakya imperative ahe my mother makes delicious cookies this is assertive sentence get lost imperative sentence fetch me a glass of water imperative sentence please be seated imperative sentence sit down again imperative sentence she writes with her left hand the first step of sentence which is it it is an assertive sentence and the last but not the least what a tragedy so this is the last step of sentence that is an exclamatory sentence correct so dear students i hope you have understood my explanation on the topic types of sentences do check my youtube channel that is my english teacher and keep watching the videos thank you